Hello, Shwita. Thank you for your question. And the question was, well, the topic was, positive thinking. So positive thinking is great as someone who is very happy-go-lucky. And when they do studies of people that live well past their hundreds, and philosophies and, and lifestyles on health and everything else all vary. But the one thing they all have in common is they, they all have a upbeat look on life, positive look on life. So they live happy life, they let things go, and they live their life fully, and they're, they live long, healthy lives. I can attest that myself, so because I'm 102 years old. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. Um, so positive thinking, but you could, but it goes even deeper than that. But definitely positive thinking is 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 a great way to reprogram ourselves and reprogram the environment because it's a very negative, judgmental society. So. When we start seeing things, the upside, uh, it catches on, just like a program. And then after decades, uh, we start to find ourselves seeing things totally different than we would have 10, 20 years ago. And that's from reprogramming ourselves and starting to see. And the more you start to see the magic in things and you start to see the upside of things, you start to see the endless gifts, the more you will just naturally see the glass half full. But when we're more narrowed, when we're, we're more closed off, uh, when we're struggling and suffering, we tend and we're trapped in the mind or spinning in the mind. We pick out and we cherry pick and we create stories and, and we narrow our vision. So positive thinking is great. It opens, it's a great exercise, I guess you could say, and it opens the perception and becomes the perception. And before you know it, you just naturally will always see, even in one negative thing, you'll see 10 positives right off the bat. Boom. <laughs> Or even the negative, you won't even see it as a negative, you'll see a positive. Maybe a lesson to be learned or something. Or experience that needed to be had. But to go even a little bit deeper than uh, positive thinking, because um, that's great, but eventually uh, some people do have, uh, especially when they're using it in the sense of trying to manifest a life or just be generally happy, but you, without making necessarily a choice. So it's always going to come down to a choice at some point to really make the big leaps. And you'll just know it because you'll make it when it's right. <laughs> and um, so choosing happiness is, is a big one. Because if you haven't really made the choice, then, you know, you, you're... you're your positive thinking, you know, might swing. It might not. Uh, it might come and go. So, um, be more consistent because you've already really made the choice. So you might have a few down days, but you're still, you know, you'll reprogram or reprogram. You've made the choice, and so positive thinking is a way to do that. And of course, manifest as well. But to really do that, you're going to make the choice. And when you've made that choice then the, the key, the two keys is acceptance and gratitude. A lot of people will play in gratitude and be, have mantras for being grateful and stuff, but, um, and they can be great, but then again, the, then they still find they're unhappy in their lives or swings. And a lot of times it's because they've skipped something and they didn't accept in the first place. They're not accepting things. So you have to accept all things and try even to not see them as good or bad, but accept everything in your life as a gift. Just accept it and roll with it. And the more you embrace acceptance, and you'll do that when you've really made the choice that I'm going to be happy, I'm going to be the master of my experience, then, then first, when you, once you accept, then you can be grateful. But like I said, if you're just saying, oh, I'm grateful because this milkshake tastes great <laughs> because the sun's outside, but then you spend the rest of the day going, oh, you know, why can't so-and-so be this? Or why didn't this turn out this way? Or why is the world this way? So acceptance really is, is a, a big tool. And, uh, and then gratitude. But don't skip acceptance. So acceptance and gratitude. Uh, so if you do those things, positive thinking just naturally comes along. You know, in the form of mantras or whatever, or a natural way to be. 
So I would say uh, positive thinking, great, but uh, you know, make the choice to be happy truly, and then uh, acceptance and gratitude will be two great tools if you use them. Uh, you'll see pretty much the bright side of anything. The small things you'll see, you know, pretty fast, and bigger things it'll just help you get through them a little more. It still take some time, you know. Some things it's hard to see the positive side, but again, if you're constantly practicing uh, acceptance and gratitude for the purpose of being happy, a natural process will evolve. So you'll find your own way, but that's how I perceive it. That's how I've perceived it for me. So there you go. Thank you for a great question.